Hey guys, it's Wiki Bunnies. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I will be going up to Atlanta. And we're going on what I consider a good day to go thrifting, which is a Wednesday. And I'm really excited. I'm hoping we can go to a few places and hopefully find a lot of cute shit. But yeah, before I go, I need to go and do my makeup because I have my hair done, but not my makeup. So I need to go and do that. And I just need to finish up packing whatever I need because we're not going to be there for very long. But yeah, I'm really excited. I'll see you guys once. Once I have my makeup on. Hey queens! So this is the finished makeup look. If you guys ever want me to make a makeup tutorial, please comment that below. I would love to do a little make bling trashy Y2K makeup tutorial for you guys. And yeah, super cute. I need to go and get my ass out of here because I don't want to be running late. Also, here is a fast outfit of the day. And so I have this cute little Kathy bag right here that I attach some cute little charms to. I have my guest top, my Playboy necklace and star necklace, ruffled skirt, and platform sandals because that's a must for any Y2K girl in the summer. And then I have some star earrings and then of course some jewelry on my fingers and all. So yeah, we're ready to hit the road. I got my purse my water bottle and my bag of course it's very pink compared to this look today which is a bit more on the dark sexy side my mom's currently getting gas and just look at how blingy i am in the lights hello do you see those flashes gorge we love to be sparkly <laughs> chicken panini thingy. I got an apple and then I got some macaroni and cheese. I love this stuff. This is my favorite stuff ever. And now I eat. I've eaten my Panera. Now we're going inside Salvation Army. So let's do it in there. Some cute little tchotchkes. It's a pretty little box. There's a lot of wedding gowns in here. <laughs> Oop, seems like some marriages did not go well. What is this kooky little dress? Hello? Very interesting. This is cute. It's a little kooky, but it's cute. Hello, cat. Meow, meow. Hello. You smell Panera's on me? Do I smell good? <laughs> Found a guest bag. This is cute. It's just got a tiny. Spotted Lisa. Hashtag Count Dabula. Okay. These are cute. Unfortunately, just way too big for me. Some old fashioned Aero Pastel. If I had more of a Mick Bling theme type of room, I would totally get this. Pink Leopard, it's totally the vibe. So that was kind of a experience. Um, I didn't really find that many things in there that I actually thought were cute. It was kind of like old pilly type clothing, which um, I want stuff that looks nice, you know? So we're gonna go to another place and see what they have there. We're approaching the Goodwill. Fingers crossed that it's actually good. Those are cute. Lots of sparkly shoes. These shoes are cute, they're like unique -y. This is a cute little purse. There's some cute little loafers to them. They're a little too small for me. Found some fake Uggs. These are kind of dirty, but I think these are really cute actually. Oh girl, she is definitely haunted. Oof, the energy girl. Him too, like... Found some simple, but cute, slip skirts. These are kind of cute. These are some cute pajama pants. The material is kind of weird though, but it is cute. This is a cute little print. 
This is kind of a cute top. It's kind of blinged out. Yeah, Gaga. Who would like to have a morning with Jesus? Okay, so that last place that we went to was kind of garbage. Um, it was very rednecky, um, so there was nothing cute inside. But we're gonna try one more place today, see if there's anything decent. I'm praying that there is, because I would like to find something that is actually cute. Okay, so so far I found two things that could be considerable, so not too bad. These are too small for me, but like kind of a scene kid vibe. My mom's finding cute things. Yay! Found a potential find for either mommy or me. This is actually a pretty cute looking blouse. Cute and tailor piece. Okay, why well, is this kind of cute? Hello, a little twilight moment. This is kind of cute. Unfortunately, it's just like a little bit too pilly, so I'm not gonna get. It's kind of a cute top. This looks very Bella Swan, first movie of Twilight. These are some cute little ballet flats. Wait, why are these kind of cute actually? Like, can you see the picture? Very goth rep. These are actually pretty cute too. I love the ribbon detail. Yo, Dorothy left her slippers behind. Hello? They're in the Goodwill now for how much? Uh, eight bucks? Yeah. So if anybody wants some ruby red slippers, come here. These are actually pretty cute. These are actually pretty cute too. I hope they fit me. These are actually really nice. I found two really cute little pouches. Some cute leopard PJ pants. They're too big for me though. This top is kind of cute. A sneaky vicious blanket. Hello? This pajama set right here is kind of cute. This top's kind of cute too. This is cute. A little basic pink camisole. This is what my cart looks like right now. It's like an explosion of like pastels and blacks, which is quite me. I'm debating if I want this or not. I love this one because the little rosette detail here. I think it's so freaking cute. I thought this was a cute little like pajama top because it reminds me of Pusheen. I don't know how I feel about this bodysuit. Maybe, maybe not, I don't know. Hmm, I'm thinking of putting this back just because it is fairly sheer. It is cute, it's just I feel like it's a little too sheer. Hello everyone, it's the next day and I'm just gonna go into a few stores and just kind of shop around, see if there's anything cute. Ah, uh, my favorite section, sparkles. I love sparkly things, especially if they're pink. These ones right here are super cute. If anything, if I were to buy anything, I'd probably get these ones. So far, this Michaels is a lot more organized and stocked better than the one that's nearby me because the one that's nearby me is so freaking empty. It's just insane. There's some cute little paper roses here. Also some more cute paper flowers. This is so Y2K, oh my God. So I saw these bling stickers and I was like, ooh, why do I kind of need the blinged out D? I need a blingy Daniela. <laughs> it actually has quite a big selection of blingy stickers overall. I'm thinking of maybe getting these. These are super cute. Now going into my favorite jewelry section. I love this section so much. It's just amazing. I love these pastel ones right here. Super pretty. Also these rose quartz ones are super pretty. Also like these like little mystical looking moons here. There's also ones that have like zodiac signs on them, which I think are cute. Oh my gosh, I love the star ones here and then these ones too. This is definitely my favorite section. I love, 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 love all the sparkles. All the pink too. Oh my god, I love it so much. This would be a cute thing to consider getting because you can make a bunch of different things with little curly beads like these. This is some more things I am considering possibly purchasing. I love going through the charm section too. I think it's just super cute. I love going into the kids' craft section too. You find a lot of cute little things. Found these really pretty pearly like beads too on clearance. I'm thinking of getting these as well. Pretty butterfly looking section. The flower section also just makes me feel so happy. Like, gosh, I love these pink roses up here and the white ones together. Now I'm currently in the fabric section. Spotted the gothic king of Halloween, Jack Skellington. These are some pretty fabrics. I love looking at tulle as well, especially the pink type. I love this pink and white polka dot one. This is super cute. Wow, there is a lot more ribbon selection here than at my local Michaels. Like, this is insane. This would be a cute one to get. It's like a little white iridescent color. 
you want to craft while being snookylicious, come here. The sparkly tool section really called to me. I love the pinks, of course, and then this rainbow color up here. It's so freaking pretty. I love the pink gingham ones, but they're just too big. I would get them if they were like a thinner type of ribbon. They are starting fall early this year. Like, got the pumpkin spice lattes out, the little woodland creatures. Damn, like, really skipping past summer, huh? I don't mind though, because I am a fall baby through and through. This section is pretty. I love these over here too. Remind me of the Spiderwick movies. And if you know them, you know them. You are hot. This is kind of coquette-ish. If they had a D, totally would buy. These are actually so me. I am literally a little dancing ballerina mouse in a pink sparkly tutu. These are some pretty flowers over here. I've been desperately trying to see if there's any spikes or studs, but I don't think there is anything here, so it's a little disappointing. Wow, look, it's just one dinosaur after another. Okay, so I wound up buying a few things at Michael's, and of course I'm going to show you guys once I am home. And now I'm just going to see if there's any other stores I want to go into. They have a whole Barbie section right here. Honestly, I don't know how I feel about their new movie. I haven't watched it. Oh lord, these testers definitely look tested. I love the way though that Fenty Beauty's products look like. I just feel like they're so like simple, but still very stylish. Too Faced, in the Too Faced section. I would love to buy another lip thing from them, but their stuff is kind of pricey, so I don't think I will, but I'll just window shop. All of their products are so pretty though. This is a really pretty looking blush. Of course, I'm looking at this because it's pink and rosy, my favorite combo. Look at this eyeshadow palette. That is so cute. It literally looks like a little box of chocolates. Life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. I actually have this gloss right here if anybody's interested in knowing that. It's really cute. I love MAC lip products, but they're just so expensive. I would love to get them more, but like $21 for a lipstick or the gloss. Oof. It's a bit pricey. I actually really recommend this mascara if you haven't tried it out already. This stuff really works. I got like a little sample packet one time when I was in New York and it's really nice. This is actually a really cute little claw clip. I love these scrunchies too. I thought the name of this was super cute. Barbie Bikini Serum. Why do I kind of want it? <laughs> this is the first time I'm actually seeing this makeup line in person. They're really cute. I love the lipstick packaging. It's like little astronauts. As much of a non-fan I am of the Kardashians, I actually really like the packaging for Kylie's products. Like, I'm sorry, but the lip kits will always remain iconic for me. I want Dior perfume so bad, especially this one right here. The Rose and Roses, it's pink, it's so classy looking, oh, it's so pretty. This is so tempting. I love sugar scrubs, and if it smells like strawberries, mm, so tempting. These press ones are pretty cute. I love all these sparkly ones down here. I would totally wear these. This is actually so cute. Oh my god. I love Sesame Street too. I actually want this so bad. So pretty. I love the packaging for all of these. And also, this one right here. Oh my god, I actually need it. I love like the light green color of this packaging too. I think this is so, so pretty. I've actually been hearing some really good things about this mascara in particular. I kind of want to try it out, especially because like, I think the packaging is just super cute. Has anyone tried out the NYX or NYX Butter Gloss? Because I'm tempted to get one of these, but I have no idea how it actually works. So let me know if you've actually tried these out. This is very interesting. Milkshake Scented Gloss. I've never heard of this before, but it sounds very intriguing. The packaging of this is really pretty too. I love the gold vibe. I actually have this stuff. It works pretty nice. Also, packaging is super cute and it smells nice too. All oh, the face masks, they're so cute. And of course I see my girl, Miss Hello Kitty. Also see some BT21 stuff. I'm curious if this actually works well. I'm very curious. It smells like strawberry too. Mm -hmm. This is so tempting. Literally place Hello Kitty on anything and I will freaking buy it. Look at how cute these are too. Oh my god, I love things with little faces on them. This stuff works really well if you don't use this. I really like the rose one in particular because it smells so wonderful. Heading into Barnes & Noble now. I'm done with the top. This is very tempting. I think this is so cute. This entire section right here honestly looks very tempting to me. 
This is actually pretty tempting because also 50% off. Mm, this smells really good too. It does smell like peaches. This section right here is so cute as well. It's very like cottage core art ho type of vibe. Kate Spade always has such nice and classy looking things. Found a book I want to look at. Also another one. No matter where you go, there will always be a Seinfeld reference following you. Spotted Green Day. Forget all these CDs. The only thing I really want to pay attention to is the two Barbie CDs down here. Rapunzel and Swan Lake. Some good choices. Guys, I really think he's waving through a window. Oh my god, Bay is here too. Hello, Dolly. Now I'm really in my habitat. OMG spotted Bay out in the wild. They have a Deftone CD under $8. Why do I actually want to consider this? I found Slipknot and Depeche Mode too. They have corn too. I love corn so much. They have Fiona Apple here. Oh my god. Found literally two queens right across from each other. We found calico critters. Look at how cute they are. Look at how cute these guys are. Oh my god. It's like a little sharky dude. And then I'm pretty sure this is like a whale shark. They're so cute though. I would love to use these as like actual pillows. Okay, this is another thing that I have to get just to read. Cause like, this looks so cute. What type of healthy recipes did they have for me? Did anybody have this book when they were growing up? Cause I swear, this teaches you more than anything they would teach you in school. Like they were truly so iconic. This book is actually pretty cute. Like the recipes inside. You see like cute little healthy things that you can do. Okay, we're headed inside of Goodwill. I'm hoping that it's good because this area is kind of more on the rich people side. So I'm hoping that we find some cute things in here. Praying, hoping, praying to God. So far, this is the cutest thing I have seen in these cute little pink heart pajama pants. Found a little build a bear. This top is so cute, but unfortunately did not fit me right. I'm very sad about that. I'm in Salvation Army right now. I found this cute little white ruffly top from Aeropostale. This top is cute. It's just a little chilly though. Looking through the pink section, trying to find any good cute pink items. Found this, Jersey Girl, the real thing. My mom found me this dress, which I actually think is kind of cute. Kind of gives me like a little cottagecore sort of vibe. This is kind of cute. It's a little blinged out type of jacket. I have this little blinged out velour jacket by BCB. I'm thinking of possibly getting this. I found some Hello Kitty pajama pants, but they are kind of old, so I'm gonna pass on these. Why is this actually so cute? Hello? These are kind of cute. I love horses. Oh my god, look what I found! This place is definitely a lot better. Oh, these are cute too. Little kitty cats. There's some cute pajama pants too. I got real excited and thought this is pink for a second, but it's not. This is actually pretty cute. I have this little real tree pink bucket hat. This jean skirt has a cool back detail to it. This is so me as a businesswoman. Hey everyone, so I am back in my room as you can tell and I am back home. So now I have to show you everything that I purchased. I found a lot of cute things at the thrift store and then also I found some things at like Ulta and at Michael's. So uh, let me show you everything that I got. So starting off with what I thrifted, the first thing that I want to show you guys is this super cute baby pink shimmery pouch that I got from Goodwill. And the brand for anybody who's curious in knowing what it is, it is Merlay. Norman. I've like literally never heard of this before in my entire life, but I thought this was super cute and something that I can just use on a daily basis. Like I have my wallet in here just so that I can grab this out quickly when I'm like checking out. And I also have just like lip glosses and all the different types of stuff in here. So it's kind of just like a daily use type of thing that I'm gonna be putting in all my purses. And I also got another pouch, which is this one right here. I think this is so freaking cute and I think it is so me. It's pink, but it's also very gothy and witchy-like. And I was really surprised to find this because I also know like the artist that drew all of this. Their name is uh, Valfi and I follow them on Instagram and I just, think their artwork is so freaking cute. And also, I love this little super cute detail of this little ghost zipper. I think this is literally just so adorable. Now moving on to the clothing that I thrifted. So the first thing that I wanna show you guys is this super cute little sundress. 
that my mom actually found for me. I think it's the cutest thing ever. It's very like cottage core, prairie core sort of vibe to it with the little like flowers. So pretty. I love the floral fabric, but um, it kind of reminds me of like Laura Ingalls Wilder in a way, like the sort of fabric. This kind of gives like a calico <laughs> type of vibe, but I think this is super freaking cute. I'm actually going to be selling this on my Depop for anybody who's interested because it unfortunately is a bit big on me. Um, but I did actually try it on at home since there wasn't any like try on rooms. So I will be selling this on here if you would like to purchase it. And this is the brand right here for anybody who is interested in knowing what it is. I also purchased this little black slip dress, which I think is cute by itself, but I basically bought this because I have the intent of like customizing it with some paint and studs and ribbons and stuff because I want to get into like clothing customization and stuff like that. So I'm thinking of maybe putting like, I don't know, Emily the Strange or like corn, something like sort of edgy like that onto this dress and just making it super cute and customized and sort of one of a kind made by me. And so this next piece kind of reminds me of Alice Coleman from Twilight. It's this super cute form fitting blousey type shirt and it just screams like the Twilight movies to me. It's very like 2008 type of look and I think it's just so freaking cute. Like the ruffles in the front and then the little collar so cute this just seems so much like something alice would wear honestly because it has sort of like a vampire-y preppy type of look to it so it's very cute and this fits me so well so i'm very happy about that this is the brand for anybody who wants to know where this top comes from i also got this sheer lacy blouse i think this is so freaking cute and i can totally see myself styling this and more either a romantic goth type of way or like a trad goth type of way because i feel like it could totally fit either style or even hippie goth to be honest because it has like little roses in the fabric if you can see i'm not sure if you can also the brand is top shop if you are interested in possibly finding like the same piece next i have a another slip but this one is white and a little bit shorter and i think this one is so cute because of the little rosette detail that is in the front i just thought it was so freaking cute but i'm thinking of actually like customizing this one too i was like hmm, should i leave it blank or should i customize it and i was like hmm. I think I'd rather customize it, like maybe put like a little bunny or a lamb on it. I think it'd be super cute and like add a little bit more like bows and pearls on it. So I have a few visions in mind. And before I forget, this is the tag. It is Allison Ann for anybody who wants to know. Next thing that I got is also white and lacy and I got this super cute ruffled lace camisole which is from the brand Aeropostale and this is too big for me but I thought this would be super cute on somebody else so I purchased it to sell it on my store. I think this would totally be a cute thing for either somebody who's into more like 2014 boho, coquette, cottagecore. I could totally see this just working with a lot of cute styles and I think it's in really good condition super cute i love all the layers honestly so sad it's not in my size otherwise i totally would have kept it for myself and next thing that i have is this super cute blouse right here and it actually has little shoulder pads which i thought was kind of funny this is definitely owned by somebody in the 80s uh you can tell just from these alone but even the insane amount of detailing on here is like so 80s but so freaking cute like hello I just love all of the pearl and flower embroideries, like crazy pretty. And now this is too big for me, so I am also selling this on my store, but I think this is just so freaking cute. This would totally go for someone who's either like coquette and wants to look more gender neutral, or somebody who's into like the maroon type of style, because it totally gives like a Melanie Martinez type of style, especially with like the little collar. But yeah, so the brand is, this right here if anybody would like to know what it is i have yet another slip to show you guys it's this gorgeous black lace and velvety purpley one i think it's just so freaking pretty and honestly i'm not sure if i want to just sell it like it is or if i want to go and customize it let me know in the comments below if you think it would be cute just to sell it like it is or if I should go ahead and just kind of like rework it and make it more like gothy, punky because I think that would also look pretty cool. And the brand is Fredericks of Hollywood which has really nice lingerie pieces so you should definitely check them out. 
now saving what I think is honestly the best for last. I found freaking Hello Kitty pajamas. This is like so crazy. So not only are they Hello Kitty pajamas, but they're pink and they have little bows and hearts on them. <laughs> they're so freaking cute. Like, hello. They're so cute. So it comes with the pajama bottoms, right? And then it also comes with the freaking matching top. I literally could not believe that I found these. And I've been wanting to get like Hello Kitty pants for a long time like these, but usually they're kind of expensive. Like sometimes they're up to like $70 on Depop, which I think is a little ludicrous for used pajama pants, but I don't know, people are paying those prices. But yeah, so it's like a size small, woman small, and it's a matching pajama set, and it's Hello Kitty, and it's pink. <laughs> I'm like, I can't believe that I found this. This has got to be like one of my best finds, to be honest, just because you don't find much Hello Kitty stuff now when you're at thrift stores because it's like a lot of people want Hello Kitty now. Now moving on with what I purchased at other stores. So first off, I'm going to start with Ulta because I got probably the least from there. And so I got this Essence Lash Princess Mascara. I've been wanting to try this for a while because I've heard a lot of good things of it. And I'm actually wearing it on my eyes today and i think this stuff is really nice it really does like have a lot of volume when you put it on and it does do a really good job at like lengthening your eyelashes too also loki got this because i like how the packaging looks like the little corset detailing here hello that is so freaking cute and then i also fed it into my lip gloss addiction and i got these two essence lip glosses it is called the essence extreme shine volume lip gloss extreme plumping as you can tell by that sticker right there um so i actually have like a lighter pink color of this lip gloss and i really wanted to try out these two colors right here totally not excusing me getting <laughs> more lip gloss but um yeah so these look super cute on me i think they're really nice and they're so hydrating too like i really love these because they have like so much hydration on your lips so yeah these are some new little guys to add to my lip gloss collection or should i say addiction and I also got a few things from Barnes & Noble, so uh, let me show you what I got there. So I wound up purchasing this pink peach bath bar because this stuff smells amazing. Like, it actually smells like peaches. It's heavenly. And it was also 50% off, so I got a really good deal for this. And I can't wait to try this out in the bath. I ended up getting some CDs as well. This one being the Corn Life is Peachy one. And I love Corn as a group. Their music slaps. It's so good. So this was on sale. I was like, how can I refuse? Not gonna lie, I was kind of screaming inside when I found this, but I found Fiona Apple's Tidal album. <gasps> and I'm a very big fan of hers. And I really love this album in particular. It's so good. And it's just, just so iconic. Like, I can't believe this is on sale. Like, Bars and Noble really doesn't have any taste. Like, why would you be selling her for so cheap? Shame on you guys. But it's good for me because I was able to get her and I don't have any Fiona Apple in my CD collection. So yeah, I'm very happy that I have it. And so the last place that I went to was Michael's and I bought a lot of craft stuff there. So let me show you everything that I got. So I wound up getting these sparkly stickers right here, the little star ones, and then also the sparkly D for Daniela, of course. <laughs> Next, I got some holographic sparkly ribbon. This stuff is really pretty in person. I feel like the camera doesn't really pick it up very well, but super pretty and it was pretty inexpensive. So I got it. And I also bought myself some white and pink sparkly beads i'm thinking of making some candy with these guys because i mean i think they're just so freaking pretty and shimmery i got some jump rings because i want to learn how to make some necklaces similar to this and also like the sort of rosary style necklaces that are very popular now i also bought some charms i got these cross ones right here and also these heart ones and i just think they're super cute um i could maybe put them in like the middle of like a camisole or a slip dress and it would be super cute. This one is not as exciting, but I did get myself an X-Acto knife so that I can make some stencils so that I can paint on stuff. And I'm really excited to start crafting more. Um, I really wanna get into that. So yeah, this will be very handy to have. And lastly, I bought these pearl beads and I got also these super pretty curly looking beads that were assorted colors so there's like clear blue pink purple and they were on sale for two bucks so i was like 
I could totally use this for candy and stuff. And it's just so freaking pretty. So yeah, that is all I got from Michaels. I hope you guys enjoyed this little vlog slash haul. Let me know in the comments below what was your favorite item that I showed. And yeah, thank you all so, so much for watching. I truly appreciate you sticking around this long to the video. Since you watched all the way through, let me give you some love and give you a heart, heart, and heart to you. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Ta-ta. Mwah.